Hey there, Gamer Obscure here, continuing 3D Doc Game Heroes on the PS3. We're back in Ray Jack Village, but not for long. No, I mean, for real though, we gotta get the princess back to the castle and reunite her with the king. But first, let's check in on Dr. Dick and see if he's got anything else for us. It's been a little while. He's working on something big. 5,000? 5,000? I mean, I have the money, so we'll do it. Sweet Diculus? <laughs> what the hell? Sweet Diculus. That's awesome. Give me some time. I guess that means we have to sleep at the inn. Oh my goodness. Alright. This better be something good, man. 5,000. Holy crap. Here I thought I was rich. I was gonna upgrade my sword a bunch, and it's all gone. I mean, not all gone. I still have 300 bucks. But geez, thank goodness. Thank goodness I have enough to even stay at the inn. Holy crap, man. I can't believe that. 5,000. That's wild. But alright, let's stay at the inn. Let's see what happens. What's Dr. Dick gonna have for me? Seems you really enjoyed last night, man. What was I doing in that bed? What the hell? <laughs> it was enough to the innkeeper noticed, whatever it was. Oh my goodness. From, I know it's been a long adventure. You got the princess with you. Jeez. <laughs> oh man, this game's hilarious. Holy shit. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we've got. After our rapturous evening here, it's done. I dare say it's a masterpiece. He owes me for all the investments. Why don't you take this and use it? What the hell? What is that? I got the Karasawa. Is what? Wait a second. Wait, he's gonna call me Raven? What? Is that a sword? What? Wait, a sword engineered with lost technology? That thing's actually really strong. Hold on. It's not as strong. It's not as strong. It's got beam though. Dude, it's a gun! Hell yeah! Dude, <laughs> check that shit out. That's awesome. I'm not gonna use it though. We'll stick with the hero sword, but that's cool. I think that was worth 5,000 gold. Just to see that, that was neat. All right. I mean, I, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. Let's just get to the castle before I lose my mind anymore. Holy crap. This game's amazing. I love it so much. It's gonna be bittersweet when the playthrough's over. Like, I'm just gonna wanna play it again. I mean, obviously that would be on my own time, but man. Like, I forgot how great this game was. It's been five years since I've played it. I remember really loving it back in the day. And I know why. It's just so charming and funny, and it just looks cool. It's just awesome. Enough gushing, though. Let's reunite the king with the princess. Here we are. Look at that, marching in so triumphantly. Honey, I'm home. She can take her rightful place on the throne there. Father! Father! I'm home. Iris, you're safe. Yeah, from saved me. There we go. Thank you for saving my precious daughter. News of your feats has spread throughout the kingdom. Yeah, I do have the sacred feet. No, it's a, di it's a different kind of feet, damn. Shut up. The Wind Sage Origin is headed here now to see the orbs himself. I got some orbs he can see. <laughs> No, but Iris has already gotten a good look at them. What's happening? Oh shit. Bothersome flies. Uh-oh. What is this? You're the Dark Bishop Fuelle. I don't know how to actually, I'm just pronouncing it like it's in Spanish. Just because I feel like you've been a formidable foe here. What are you talking about? I've never even met you before. Your meddling ends here. Hand over the orbs. I got some orbs you can have. I already made that joke though, just about 30 seconds ago. Oh shit. Wait a second, I gotta fight this guy now? Oh, come on, man. He's like, oh, this is like some pinwheel bullshit. What the hell? Oh, dude. Oh, he just laughs at me. What an asshole. Uh oh, wait, he's dropping enemies on me. What is this? I mean, that's fine. My sword's big enough. My sword's big and long enough to deal with this shit. Aw, oh, dude. Well, not anymore. I can't hit him. Quit laughing at me, you asshole. What the hell, man? Who's... <laughs> I like his laughter, though. It's so jovial, because he shoots out flaming kidney stones. 
This guy's totally lost his mind. Can I not damage this guy at all? Like, am I missing something? I can't even use my magic. Wait, hold on. Here, let's slow this shit down. Oh, shit. That's actually disorienting. That's <laughs> That did more harm than good. Oh, man, this is trippy. It's kind of like the combat boosts in Perfect Dark. Wait, I can't use the Flame Rod either? Wait, what? You're wasting my time. Hand over the orbs or else. Stop, way eh? Wait, Crimson, we made it. Yeah, close call. Oh, wait, it's all the sages. Are they going to lock him away? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean it was a pain getting out of the forest mage? Just go the wrong way and it kicks you out, man. But look at that. Origin looks badass. He's like a pixelated Shaquille O'Neal. That's what I'm picturing there. Holy crap, he's just a mountain of a man. Holy balls. Meddling sages, you're too late. Nothing can stop me now. The Dark Orb's power is mine once the ritual in the tower completes. Only death awaits you. Until then, you may tremble in fear. Filth! <laughs> Once you destroy the kingdom. Yeah, you tell that asshole. Wait, what? Aw, oh, man. Turn back into fairies. Dude. Ah. Oh. They won't regain their form until the Dark Orb is extinguished, which will never happen. Ah, shit. Man, I went through all that trouble to turn her back into a princess. And just like that, she's fairies again. What the hell? Oh, man. Wait, he's now the Dark King? Oh, shit, the kingdom is doomed? Yeah, we can't give up yet. What the hell, man? Origin knows what's up. So we get the purple orb power. What the hell is that? That's lightning? No, lighting. Not lightning, lighting. It can reveal the true form of your foes. The six orbs can be combined into the light orb by the six sages. Well, let's do it then. Take the light orb and with it, smite the darkness. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so cool, man. So cool, we got the light orb. All right. Yeah, we're gonna kick Fueye's ass, man. We are totally saving this kingdom. Oh wait, the fairies are coming with? All right. Yeah, Lee has been with me the whole journey. What? <laughs> That's preposterous. What the hell? Tee hee. What the heck? He didn't even know? He didn't even know where his own daughter was? What kind of dad is he? What the hell, man? All right, well, that's a thing that's happened. So obviously we need to head back towards the poisonous bog, but there are a few things we need to take care of first. There's someone around here I need to talk to. I don't know what he's going to say. Wait, guess what I've got? The highly anticipated ice candy. Steal his candy? Hell yeah. Well, what are you doing? What? <laughs> he exploded. I now possess the ice candy. Yes. Which is totally a reference to the, the horrible translations in Castlevania 2, which is still one of my favorite games ever. Don't talk shit about Simon's Quest. What the hell, man? Oh, this is just getting better and better. Like, I was already gushing about this game, and now I'm gonna be gushing even more. This is outstanding. But I think now, now that we've met the sage, now that we've met the sage, I think we need to go to From Cave now. So we'll just see you over there. All right, here we are, back by From Cave. I just wonder how many people are gonna be in this room now. Like, this cave is just full of people, or at least it was last time. Yeah, how many more people are in here? I don't think there's any more people in here. I don't know, but let's just start talking to them. And again, like, they all say the same stuff, but I'm telling you, I just, I mean, it's been working. If we don't need to talk to everybody, I mean, I've been talking to the right guy every time. But I'm just, wait, what? The game's complete, you should play it. What did I get? We got the armored core, hell yeah. So that's, that's the end of the quest there. It was a tough job, but we finally created a great game. No, you guys created a great game right here, right now. 3 d Game Heroes is a great game. You have made something rather extraordinary. But they made a game within a game. Finished, finally. Oh man, it's a magnificent game. I bet it is. These parts, they never end. These are the parts that never end. Yes, they go on and on, my friend. I'm sorry, I'll stop now. So, I, with that, that's really all I needed to do, so... We'll just head back towards the poisonous bog. 
All right, here we are. We're back. We're back in the poisonous bog area. I just, I love this area. I don't know what it is. It's just the, the choice of colors. Like, everything just kind of has this light purplish hue to it. It's like you take a picture and the white balance is all wrong. That's kind of how it looks, but it just, it suits the area so well. So anyways, that cave, that's where we got the last fairy. We never went up these stairs. Hey, a hundred coins there. That's pretty nice. We got to rebuild our wealth after giving Dr. Dick $5,000. That's crazy. Hey, we got a magical bag. Not that I need it, because I have the tent. I mean, the magical bag just, it's... It refills all your magic, but only your magic. Not your health, unlike the sleeping bag, which recovers all of your health, but none of your magic. What the hell is this? This game is made from many, many blocks. What? <laughs> this is kind of like in in Celadon City. Wait, the last sign's a big secret? In Celadon City and Pokemon, there's that one building that's basically like the developers of the game and they talk to you and stuff. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Oh man. I'm not gonna talk to everyone in here, but this is pretty funny actually. <laughs> hey, there's a crystal slime. I wonder if I can take them out. I still need, what, two of those? We gotta find two crystal slimes, and they just randomly spawn. You never know when you're gonna find those things. Oh, shit. Um, dude, I was gonna say, why can't I swing my sword, man? What the hell? I just, where... Do I wanna go this way? I'm not sure. I feel like, no, I don't. So let's head over here first. I don't know. That's that's the thing. It's just like, am I going the way or am I going the other way? Well, here's a treasure chest, so I feel a little bit better about my decision. And then there's a building as well. Shoot. Um. So this is Hotel Nialiv. All right. I do need to be in here at some point. I just I want that treasure chest now. So what do we got here? Oh, okay, you got the new block defense game. I still haven't played any of those. Want to play golf with me? If you win, I'll give you the Falcon Ball you've never played. Tutorials bore me, so I'll just let you win. What? <laughs> what the hell? All right, we got the Falcon Ball. Whatever. Hey, it's Dr. Dick's grandson. Need my help? You want me to summon Death Tax? <laughs> what? That's bizarre. I do have an inn. It's a long, pointless story. You want to spend the night? No, we're good. We're good. We got the Falcon Ball. That's... That's a cool thing, I guess. What an odd... What an odd sequence of events there. Anyways... I want this treasure chest, man. Oh, I can't... I can't get over there. Alright. Well, I'm a big dummy, because surely we just go this way. But the treasure chest is over here, man, and that's what I really want. That's all I really want. How do I get over there? Wait a second. How do I get over there? Can I jump down from somewhere? Oh, I totally can. I see it now. Hold on. Hold on. I see it now. I didn't see it before, but I see it now. And thankfully, my sword is super long, and these things are barely even on the screen. And I'm taking them out. Yay, a small block. Not that I really need those anymore. I mean, I could go buy another sword, but do I really need to? That's the thing. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Like, I'm trying to think, like, if you don't have the Miracle Boots and you try and walk on this stuff, I know it damages you. I'm just trying to think, like, how quickly does that happen? Holy zombies. Oh my gosh. The best thing about zombies is that the hundred coins that they drop, I don't want to say regularly, but it's not unheard of. Shit, dude. It's not unheard of for them to drop a hundred coins. So, I mean... The bog stench fills the air. Bones lie scattered about. Search, yes. What do we get? We got the mirror of truth, all right. And what we need to do with that... What we need to do with that... We have to go back to the hotel and talk to a guy. And he's going to send us on a completely ridiculous quest. But we need to do it. It's totally worth doing. It's, it's a lot more fun than going to the Dark Tower, I can tell you that much right now. Maybe not, but we're gonna do it anyways. Just because we have to. 
Like, we have almost all the key items. This will pretty much get us the last of them. So let's do it. Let's do it. I, just, I don't know which guy to talk to. Is it this guy again? You should learn golf. You're missing out. I actually really like golf. I'm terrible at it, but I love it. And I think I love it because I'm terrible at it. Wait, I can use that mirror to make my invention work. I have a favor to ask. Can you help me? Yes. Thank you. He's trying to create a new sword. It'll take a great power. That's where that mirror comes in. The mirror converts a curse into raw energy, so if you can undo curses with it, you'll be collecting energy. Can you try to purge as many curses with that mirror as you can? I'll pay you back. How's that sound? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so what we have to do, there's, there's a bunch of animals that we've seen in our travels that are actually people, and we have to turn them back into people. And we're gonna have to go all the way around the world again to do it, but that's all right. We're gonna start with Jim's shack. Because I know there was a chicken in there. So let's get over there. We're just going to be wind-winging and walking around for the rest of the episode. And this is going to get us the rest of the key items. And that's just, it's a great thing. And then we can go to the Dark Tower. We probably only have like two or three more episodes of this. Man. Yeah, the Mirror of Truth shined. Thank you, friend. Have you ever eaten a spa egg? Yeah, I have. She's bl Oh, God. Oh, my God. I just... I can't. I can't. She was laying the spy eggs. <laughs> oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. This game is hilarious, man. I love it so much. But next is Ortego Village. Because there was a cat around here. Shoot, though. Where, wait, is it, is, I think it's the cat next to this lady. Actually. But there's someone else we need to talk to here. Wait, yeah, this guy was never here before. I so want Mary's autograph. You're her friend? Could you get her autograph for me then? Yeah, I sure can. What a nice person. Have her sign this paper. All right. We will have her sign that paper. We got the autograph paper. I mean, it could just be anything. But it's an old man. Darn it, I was enjoying that girl's attention. I want to stay as a cat. What a creep. That <laughs> That kitty was an old man. How gross. <laughs> oh my god, this game. I'm telling you. Ah, uh, It's like the closer I get to the end of it now, the more I love it. Because I don't want it to end. I don't want this game to end, man. Alright, Mary, we need your autograph. Yeah, you do owe me that much. I mean, I brought you here. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be making any money. Yeah, you'll break your own rules. Ooh, shake it, baby. All right, we got the autograph, so let's give it back to this guy. What the hell, man? My kitty was an old man. How gross. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's too good, man. It's just, it's too good. So here you go. We got the autograph. It has its own aura. I must repay you. I've got something real long and thick. You'll love it. Oh, dear God, what is happening? Please, no. Oh, wait. He, holy shit. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, my God. So we got a Giga Sword? I have to see this thing. Look at this. An enormously long and thick sword. It's not as strong as what I have. That's not that great. Well, no, because I'm not at full health. I'm not at full health. We're going to walk around with this thing for a little bit and just see... We'll just see what it's like. But actually, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go... We gotta go to Kandata Inn. Alright, I always forget how short of a walk it is from Ortego Village. But here we are, the Mirror of Truth shined. I'm human again, and I thought I could avoid work as a dog. Like, no one wants these curses undone. What the hell? He was hiding as a dog? Now he'll have lots of sales to make up for. Oh, I love it. I love it. We got some more curses to undo, but they're going to have to wait until next time. And I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.